in the uh, mangrove area, just outside the water line. So if we just kind of line up there and pick up all that, that's it. So uh, that's all I got. And like I said, be careful, Sheriff. Well, well, we always say we thank everybody for coming out. It makes a big difference in power and numbers. In a short time, we're going to make a lot of uh, impact. You see a lot of trash, a lot of bags. You leave here feeling pretty good about yourself, and uh, it's going to be uh, short. But uh, together, we make a big difference, and I appreciate everybody coming out. John, you have anything? No. Nope. I'll thank it. you guys for Let's coming out. Good. All right. Be careful crossing. Watch it. Watch it. So what's up guys, who are you who are y'all with over here? Monroe County Public Works, Road Works. Department, Station Key. Love seeing you guys out here helping with this effort. Yes, sir. No pressure. So this is uh, just tr raw trash right here in the mangrove, just randomly. Everywhere you go, it's like this. It's bad. <laughs> it's gotten really out of hand. Yes, sir. Again, thank you guys for being part of it. Yes, thank sir. You. Hey guys, it's Rick with CMIBeach.com and HelpIn.Litter.org. I'm here today with Sheriff Rick Ramsey. How you doing today, sir? Hey, I'm doing wonderful. Beautiful day. Exactly. You know, I was telling you earlier, it's kind of funny. Everywhere things are happening is good and positive. You seem to be there and your guys and the well, keys. You know, we're trying to make a difference. You know, I keep talking about better, cleaner, safer streets, better, cleaner, safer neighborhoods. And this is what it's about. Making yep. our neighborhoods cleaner, safer for our kids and family and visitors and working together. You know, we're talking about partnerships, instilling uh, groups, working together to uh, power our numbers to make a difference. Right. And we're doing today here. We see our um, sheriff's office uh, personnel. We see some citizens out here with us. We see our trustees. We're using inmate labor. A lot of our friends from uh, Public Works out here. We come together in a group of people, and our focus is to attack these uh, areas which are dirty, disheveled, make them cleaner, and try to take some pride and make it look nice and make it look safe. And you know, this stuff is bad for the environment. A lot of plastics which, you know, don't degrade with time which affect our environment, our birds, our fish, our mammals, and, you know, manatees, and there's just so much bad stuff happening that we just have to, uh, you know, take a step forward and, and be a leader and, and make it happen. Absolutely. Well, I, I, you know, from what I do with my business, I'm around a lot of different people right. in your position, but you guys here in the Florida Keys really put your heart where it's supposed to be. Y'all go out and don't talk it, you do it, and that's well, important. That's just it. It's easy in life to talk it, but talking to talk and walking to walk are two different two things. Two different things, man. And everyone talks it, but very few walk. It. Exactly. In office, we take pride in, we say, we back it up, and I take pride to come out here with my guys and gals. You know, I, I like doing it, and um, lead from the top. You know, if I ask them to do it, I'm going to be here with them. I don't ask them to do anything I won't do myself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Key West to Key Largo, if we have cleanups, if we have stuff to do, we have graffiti, other stuff. I'm right there on it to make a difference. Well, you you guys really do. When uh, when my friend Luis Gomez, one of your deputies, was telling me guy. about this, he's a he's a great guy and he really is uh, into this kind of stuff. I, to a certain extent, thought it was going to be just uh, the 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 you know the group of people from the area. I didn't realize it was going to be most of the sheriff's department. I just love the interaction you guys are really the ones out here doing. Almost all just sheriff people. Yeah, we generally have a lot of uh, turnout from citizens and chambers and rotaries and different groups, but we're so far here, right at the right. county line. It's a long way for people to come, so we didn't expect a huge turnout from the citizen right but generally we do have a 50 50 mix a pretty good mixture of citizens who come out that want to take care of their neighborhoods yeah want to you know get their neighborhoods back to where they want to be and take pride and this is all about absolutely. pride and, and, and you know displaying something nice for our visitors coming into the county yeah, absolutely well we we as people who are part of this and we see my beach.com we obviously care about the environment we really appreciate what you guys are doing and love seeing this we have a big cleanup coming on April 25th, and it's going to be organized by 13-year-old Isabella Hernandez, Wonderful. who has made her life's mission at 13 years old to save the environment. And she's going to be the crime-fighting, she's going to rid the world of the crime of litter at 13 years old, and she's going to be the superhero called Heal Girl 6. I love Can you imagine it. that commitment? I love it. That's it's, awesome. it's amazing. She really can't, you can't talk to her five minutes without getting into a conversation about litter, and she just reprimands everybody about it. So it's just great to Good. see at that age that they're trying to care about the world. Well, we'd love to partner up with her and work with her now and in the future. That's great. Absolutely. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll put you in touch with her. She's going to be doing the, the big cleanup coming up, and we're going to go clean the mangroves with three different boats and going out and actually do it with grabbers and kind of what you guys are doing out here. So anyway, so it's always nice seeing you. Um, you were showing me something earlier in your truck, and I want to see that before we leave. I, I was pretty amazed about that, how you're, you're, you take the concern from here, the graffiti and these different things, and it's things that people like me never think about that you guys do. So I want to highlight that before you leave, if you don't mind, okay? Good. Let's pick up some trash, and we'll get back to that later. Let's do that. I'm going to go okay. get some, catch some of you guys picking up the trash. Thank Super. you so much, sir. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. Take care.
Thank you, sir. How you doing? Good, man. How you doing today? You out here cleaning it up, huh? Yes, sir. What's your name, sir? What's your first name? George Smith. George Smith, nice meeting you, George. My name is Rick. How you doing today? I'm great. And yourself? You with the Public Works? I'm doing. I'm. I'm well, thank you. Yeah, I'm Public Works. I'm Excellent. Well, we appreciate you guys coming out here. I'm with HelpingDollarLetter.org and SeeMyBeach.com, and we appreciate what you're doing out here, guys. No problem. We just concerned with helping the public, the traveling public, and a few main systems. Enough. Right. Like I was telling Chef Ramsey earlier, a lot of people talk to talk, you guys walk to walk, and I appreciate seeing that, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you for your commitment to the world, making it a better place, okay? Thank you, too. See you around, my friend. Be safe. Yes, sir. Thank you. If something goes really wrong, we'll have a nice YouTube video of it. So, yeah. oh, so at least there's always think on the positive side, right? Yep. Don't worry. If you get stuck, don't worry. I can pull you out. <laughs> I'm with the fire department. I know. I know to get you out. There we go. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> <laughs> Things been going well, man. How you been? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. This is uh, this area is my my patrol area. Oh yeah. And so when I came up this way about two years ago, um, this was one of the areas of concern to me. So I started working on these projects with the help of Sergeant Kepney. Right. And uh, we've done a lot. We've closed down a lot of areas that were problem areas as far as. Heavy, heavy traffic on the weekends. Right. Jet skis, uh, fights, the trash, um, uh, sacrificing animals, animal carcasses. Oh, God. So we shut down a lot of the areas. We hadn't made it this far. Right. But this area specifically, the concern here was the commercial shrimp boats. Okay. They had turned this into a uh, marina and had backed into the mangroves and were cutting the mangroves and docking into the mangroves. Not only were they doing that, but also all the trash. They were littering, exactly. So we managed to get rid of all the commercial boats and have them relocate to a, an actual marina instead of cutting the mangroves down and right. using it as a marina. Um, I did this last month, and I had help from uh, Jason Rafter from FWC, mm -hmm. and I had a lot of help from uh, Public Works, Monroe County Public Works. Uh, some of the boats have come back. And uh, I noticed that today, and uh, I'll have FWC come back today mm -hmm. and maybe give some citations to those boats that are back. My bad, the... I had to race a couple things off the car. Back with you, David. Yeah, uh, no finish telling me about the things. First of all, who are you, sir? Uh, Sergeant Kipney. Sergeant Kipney. Yes, Appreciate what you guys are doing out here. You're making a big difference. Uh, finish telling me about the boats. They were, uh, you were just saying that you were having to give some citations because they're back out here? Yeah, well, the original problem, the reason we're here today is this area, like I explained earlier, was all being utilized by commercial shrimpers. Um, they would cut the mangroves down, as you can see in some, some of these areas. Right. Trash the, trash the area, and basically we had a, a, a marina here, a commercial marina here, that they had uh, made out of the mangroves. Um, last month, myself and uh, with the help of Sergeant Kifney and Public Works, we put these barricades up, we put these signs up, mm -hmm. and we eliminated most of the boats that were in the area. Right. Um, uh, I've, I've been on nights for a little while. Today's my first day back on days, and I noticed some of the boats are back up here north. Right. So we're going to have FWC come out here within the hour 
and take care of those boats there. Very good. Hopefully that'll take care of this area for once and for all and just allow it to be natural and pristine. This is the first thing people see when they come to Monroe County. There's the county line literally right there about right. 50 yards. That's very, it's absolutely so, very important for sure. What surprised me, as Sergeant Kipney, I was noticing that they're not just finding little small trash. I mean, there's ropes and all kinds of crates of things. Is that is that uncommon out here or is that usual? Uh, it's very uh, usual for this area for right now. There hasn't been a cleanup done here in, in a very long time. Right. Uh, so like Deputy Miner said, hopefully this will uh, put an end to this, but if it doesn't, we're going to be very vigilant in uh, patrolling this area and, and looking out for it. And if it continues, we'll continue to do this. And, and if necessary, we'll uh, take criminal action if need be. Well, you, you find you hear people all the time griping about that y'all are enforcing some of this stuff and saying you can't fish in certain areas and stuff. But people have to realize this is why. If people respected the environment and did what they're supposed to do, y'all would not give them any hassle whatsoever. Absolutely. They've caused their own issue. And I mean, you're looking at it right here. It's evidence of what that problem is. So when you hear that people, they're saying they're having to restrict some things, this is why. It's because humans get involved and they don't respect things. So thank you guys for watching that. And uh, our, our organization, HelpInDollarLitter.org, is really trying to do positive things, and we'll hopefully in the future be able to help you out with some of these cleanups. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you guys for what you're doing. Take Thank care. You. Looking good. Coming along, I tell you. How you doing? Good. You getting down and dirty in there, huh? Yes, sir. Me and the boss. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Tyler? How you doing over there? All right. I can man. barely see you. You're down in there. Man. That's all right. You must be doing well. You got the boss that further in than you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> exactly. Jeez. We we have to re, re reevaluate how this yeah, is working. I think that's, we're gonna discuss that. We <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I got it on video, so you can show it to him later. Oh, perfect. <laughs> we got proof. We got proof. Hey, see, then they can never say the boss doesn't do anything. So. Exactly. Hey, no doubt about it. We got evidence of it. Hey, give me a cup. I, I need to have that on my wall. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. How you doing, man? Hey, how you doing, kid? Good. Who are you with? Hey, uh, I'm sorry. I'm with him. Oh, okay. Um, with, yeah. With uh, the public works. The public works. Is Excellent. Oh, Thank yeah. you for what you guys are doing out oh, here, man. You're welcome. Making a difference. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on, Colonel. Hold on. Here again with Sheriff Ramsey. I'll tell you what, I was amazed at how much trash you guys picked up. Unbelievable. Yeah, which every time we do this, people are always amazed at how much trash comes out of these things. Exactly. And I'm not amazed now, but some of the guys are saying, Can you believe how much stuff just came out of there? And, and the I type said, of yes. stuff. Uh, well, Unreal. Yes. It's, it's generally um, bottles and plastics and, you know, tr uh, plastic bags and a lot of the really bad stuff, styrofoam, that doesn't degrade, as we said earlier. Right. That does affect our, our wildlife or uh, you know, turtles and manatees and birds right. and other species, and we'll be there for 10,000 years if we don't do something about it. Exactly. You know, we we dead, have to we'll start caring. We have to start doing this kind of stuff. First of all, reducing what we use, our, our impact on the environment, and then when it hits the environment, make sure it's disposed of properly. I was just, I mean, there's ropes, there's tires, there's everything. How much, how big of a distance do you think this was we, that y'all just cleaned? Well, we were, did about, uh, I think about a 150 yard section on the uh, Carson Road. <laughs> just a really short, short amount. It was. You know, uh, unbelievable. It, and it took us uh, an hour at the most. Right. Uh, 40 five minutes to an hour and we filled up this uh, landscape truck to your right which you uh, i think got some pictures earlier yeah exactly it was filled to the top I and mean, that's a big large scale you know, landscape exactly truck. and that's all solid trash garbage and stuff that's just <laughs> killing our environment and it's just sad it's terrible to see it's this. horrible i'll tell you something else that i that i like about when you and i were talking earlier i wanted to show is in the back of your truck the, 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 the graffiti things you carry and all that people like me like i said never think of that kind of stuff so tell me what you do with that well, i will you know um, i hate graffiti and i tell my commanders as soon as you see it, or as soon as you become aware of it, you've got 24 hours to remove it. I don't want to see it. I don't care how you do it. I want it gone. Right. So, and I practice what I preach, so we'll see here. Yeah. I actually keep spray paint with me. <laughs> so when I'm going about, I keep all kinds of paints. Right. And I try to get color coordinated based on what I'm painting. Right. You know, it's uh, dumpsters, it's uh, post, uh, post boxes, it's uh, metal guardrails. It's concrete power poles. I want to coordinate. It's covering up, but same token. We just don't want to make it look worse. We want to see it so it blends. So right. blending, different colors uh, for different paper racks. Right. So I keep a lot of stuff in here just to focus on that too as well. Right. And 
Some of this I, I buy, and a lot of the paint comes from recycled paint, though. Mm -hmm. When you do a monthly uh, paint recycle day, right now the county, they work so good with this now, they know I want it, they'll bring us boxes of spray paint, and I put the spray paint in every station, so the spray, uh, station has spray paint, so when they see it, they can spray it out right away. Excellent. I also work with waste management. When you turn in your gallon of um, paint from your house that you're no longer using for a recycle day, right. that has to go somewhere. It generally goes in a landfill. Well, mm -hmm. they mix it up, and waste management, Greg Sullivan, gives me all I want. Every station has 10 gallons of recycled paint, and it comes out when mixed together, blends to be like a beige and color paint. Mm -hmm. So we have a bigger project, we come out and we'll roll it. It's all recycled, it doesn't cost the taxpayers money, and in fact, it helps make our environment green because it will wind up in a landfill. Exactly. So, you know, it's a win-win. And it's going in to cover up something that's bad. It's just absolutely. a absolute win-win. Absolutely. It's a win -win. You know, and absolutely. For us to um, have those partnership and relationship with chambers and rotary and citizens and waste management and advance or waste service and, you know, all the garbage collectors in the county are just super. You know, um, Todd Carter, Upper Keys, does a great job with us. Right. You know, uh, countywide, all the services are on board to whatever we need, we call, they're there. Public Works County has been a real good partner with us. Mm -hmm. People are really getting on board. They're to catch it, see it, buy into it, understand it, see the differences. Mm -hmm. Like I tell people when they come out, in 45 minutes, when this truck is full and you look in the back of that truck and mm -hmm. you see what you just accomplished, you have to leave here feeling pretty good about yourself and say, exactly. holy smokes, we just did that. Exactly. We just made a difference. And that's what all this is about, making a difference for us today and the future um, you know, kids and the, you know, adults in the future that are going to be here when we're gone. Exactly. Our, our, our environment has been pretty much trashed for a lot of years. A lot of it because people didn't know um, the impact of, of us just using so much things, you know, to-go boxes and everything. They're making to-go boxes so thick now, you, they're almost plates and things, you know. know. They're, 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 the restaurants are trying to do a good job, but it's causing so much more trash for the environment. We're doing it to ourselves, so we right. have to be part of the solution. Exactly. And, and, and a little bit of work, a little partnership, we can make a difference. We can, you know, make it better. We're never going to solve all the world's problems. We get it. Right. We can make a huge impact, and that's what we're exactly. trying to do today is make it better, cleaner, safer communities, better, cleaner, safer neighborhoods. Well, I'll tell you what. If, if, I, if I ever get a chance to vote for sheriff of the year, I'm going to vote for you. Because well, I've seen you at, at, at every one of these events, and, and I see you in the paper all the time doing positive things. and. And guess what? You know, that's what we pay you for, and that's what people expect. We don't get that all the time. With you, we get more than we pay for. Well, I'm trying, and I appreciate thank you the so, time works. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank okay. you so much for what you're doing. And I'm going to go show the people the back of the truck, and uh, thank you for showing me that. Okay. And I'll, I'm, I'll see you again, no doubt about it, because you're always around doing positive I'm things. I'm sure you will. Thank you, sir. Take care, boy. Take care. Five minutes of trucks full of garbage and trash. You know, without you, we couldn't get it done. Power numbers, you know, our friends of Public Works and the Sheriff Office and our trustees to come out and help us out. We appreciate everything, everybody, what you did. You made a big difference today. I know I appreciate it. Thank you for what you guys did. From cmybeach.com and helpendallitter.org. Bye, everybody. Thank you for your contribution.